Howdy, howdy, everybody. Uh, this is Scott X1307. Uh, back again. Uh, this time, I uh, got a, a contest video for another great YouTuber on here. Uh, it's our buddy uh, Tim Morant. Uh, he's doing his uh, anniversary contest. Uh, as he's been on uh, YouTube for uh, a while now. Uh, great guy. <clears throat> we talked back and forth a little bit. Um, done a couple of trades. Um, really cool, really cool dude. I'm sure everybody's seen the videos of, uh, of his uh, stained glass work. Uh, some really amazing stained glass uh, art. Uh, the uh, Check out the video where he shows off the Grendel piece that he did for uh, Francis McMenamin. Um, and he is uh, graciously doing a Cyclops piece, uh, Cyclops from the X-Men, um, a stained glass piece as a prize for uh, this contest. Um, and that's just, uh, that's, that's incredible. Um, what a prize, man. <laughs> um, and be honest, I, uh, it'd be, that would be really, really cool to have and, um, be able to, to, to hang up on the wall, um, and show off to everybody. Um, like I said, some, some amazing stuff. Go, go check his channel out. Um, he has a great collection. Uh, does, uh, you know, a good bit of, uh, haul videos and collection videos. Uh, a lot of good stuff into the X-Men, uh, Teen Titans, and, um, a lot of indie stuff as well. Uh, concrete and things like that. Um, so he's got this great contest going on. And, uh, he's got, uh, three questions. Uh, first question... Uh, we got here is um, how you doing? Uh, well, man, um, like always, uh, you know, I'm hanging in there, um, moving along, surviving, <laughs> uh, getting by, you know, getting by and doing the best I can, doing the best I can, like all of us. Um, uh, second question. Second question he asks is a really tough question. This is a question that has been asked over and over. Um, a really great response to this uh, particular question is uh, Howler Mouse's video. Um, go check that out. He makes a very, very good case for um, why Batman needs a Robin. Um, but that's what he asks. He asks, does, does Batman really need a Robin? Um... <laughs> That's a hard one to answer. Um, to me, I don't think Batman necessarily needs Robin, but I think Batman always needs some kind of counter personality. Um, he needs somebody to be that light in his darkness. Um, he is so focused on stopping crime and being Batman that he often forgets the other things in life. He forgets about uh, friendships and uh, personal responsibilities and things like that. He, he even forgets, you know, sometimes to take a little bit of time off to rest, um, you know, stop and smell the roses, uh, so to speak. Um, he definitely needs some kind of counter, whether it be Robin or Nightwing or Batgirl or, um, you know, even Commissioner Gordon. Um, I think Batman definitely needs uh, that that person uh, in his in his life. Um, Robin does make a very a very good counter for Batman um, being that youthful exuberance and excitement um, you know it, uh, they haven't reached that age where life has taken them to uh, all those dark places yet and with the right training they can you know they can be buffered against that so that they maintain kind of like you know with Dick Grayson he grew up and he's he's still he's got that Batman side um, you know, as Nightwing, he has the training, uh, the, the the fighting capabilities. He has the detective skills and things like that. But 
he's still Dick Grayson. He still maintains his personal life somewhat. Uh, he still stays himself. Um, and that's, uh, that's, I think, the importance of, uh, of Robin. Um, but uh, Batman definitely needs a counter. Um, like I said, for, for a, a, a better explanation of why Batman needs a Robin, check out Howlin' Mouse's video response to the contest. Um, and I'm sure that there will be a lot of other great responses uh, as the contest moves along. Um, but that's, uh, that's how I feel about it. Um, not necessarily needing a Robin, but he definitely needs that, that lighter counterpoint to, uh, to remind him that he is, he's not just Batman, that he is Bruce Wayne also. Um, even though, I mean, he pretty much is Batman, even when he's Bruce Wayne. <laughs> All right, and third question. Uh, third question apparently is uh, uh, his pull list has uh, shrunk a little bit uh, lately. Uh, some series have come to an end and things. And he's looking for ideas of um, some other titles uh, to collect. Um, some runs, short runs of um, uh, 150 issues or less and um, I think I have a few ideas um, I, I, I should know more of what you actually collect um, but there as much as we have talked there are so many videos and, and people out there that it's hard to keep track of everything um, but I think I have some ideas um, like we were talking the other day uh, series that I have been picking up lately and found a lot at the flea market is the uh, first comics series of uh, <coughs> Nexus by Mike Barron and Steve Rude from the 80s. Um, the first 30 something issues are uh, Steve Rude art, like this cover here, which I think is fantastic. The blue and green and black and yellow. Um, I think it just all goes well, and his art is so amazing. It's got that good, uh, that that vintage feel. Um, here is the issue number 50 of that series. They did a oversized issue, and most of these you can find fairly cheap. Like I said, I picked most of these up at the flea market for uh, five for a dollar. Um, the first, the two or three issues are maybe five to ten bucks sometimes but usually you can find those in dollar boxes also um, it's the capital comics uh, series that came out first it was only what three or five issues uh, that are a little more expensive but even those are only like uh, 20 to 40 bucks um, but the first series is good and uh, after uh, Steve Rude left um, I don't know why but um, he left the the character that created with Mike Barron. Uh, they had guest artists come in like Mike Mignola, um, Jose G Garcia Lopez, uh, Paul Smith, uh, even Adam Hughes for an issue or two. Issue or two is fairly early Adam Hughes work, um, and it's only about eighty issues uh, in the first comic series. Uh, they did continue on um, from time to time later on with Dark Horse Comics uh, doing mini series. Um, they uh, even uh, Steve Rude at uh, Rude Dude Productions, and they self-published a few issues. Um, here's an issue of Nexus meets Madman. I know you like uh, Mike Allred, um, and I think Allred and Steve Rude, their art is they have the uh, the same kind of feel, um, and they go well together. And these characters, they I think they mesh pretty well in this. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, and this, these will be mostly indie books. Uh, uh, another one that I picked up at the flea market and have been fairly interested in, um, not finding too many issues of it, uh, but it's only uh, 24 issues long from Eclipse Comics, and it's uh, Timothy Truman. Um, that's Scout. Uh, some really uh, good Timothy Truman stuff. Um, I like it. It's post-apocalyptic. He is a uh, Native American. It's post-apocalyptic America, and he's kind of like um, a rebel. Um, I love, really, really like this cover. This is issue 18. Um, but you have him uh, as like a skeleton with a guitar. It's really cool. 
Um, and another series that, uh, and this is actually DC uh, Comics, um, and this may be one that you have picked up, um, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, if you haven't, um, I would recommend, it's not the greatest thing in the world, it does have some, some cool issues, uh, it's good stories, but it's just a neat character, um, and it has some pretty good people working on it from time to time. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's another, uh, shorter series, uh, the run with 64 issues, Fury of Firestorm, always like this character, uh, from the Super Friends cartoon, um, things like that, and, uh, like I said, there's some pretty neat issues, and there are some, um, some issues that have been going up lately, I guess, because of, apparently, some of his villains, and, uh, have showed up on Arrow or Flash or something, and uh, they're talking about an appearance of Firestorm on the show. Uh, that was issue one. Uh, this is a really cool cover. Uh, issue twenty, I think it's uh, yeah, it's a uh, Kavanaugh, Dick Giordano, Giordano art uh, inking. Uh, it's uh, Killer Frost. Um, it's really cool. It's uh. My lighting in here is horrible. It's this neat purple background with the firestorm there. Uh, and then uh, this is the issue. It's been pretty hot. Uh, first appearance of uh, Felicity Smoke. I believe in here she's called Bite. But this is uh, issue 23. Which I think is another pretty cool cover. A lot of detail in the background. The circuitry and stuff. And then for some really, really short runs, which is, uh, that's something I really like, uh, uh, you know, 6 to 12 issue miniseries. Um, always recommend the PC Comics uh, Jack Kirby stuff from the 80s, uh, Silver Star, Captain Victory. I mean, you've got some great Kirby art. Uh, I think he does covers on all of the issues. He does interior uh, art for most of them. Uh, Steve Ditko does art in some. Uh, just it's really cool. It is. It's uh, it's his you know it's his cosmic space opera kind of stuff. Um, and they're really neat. I'm starting to pick those up myself. And then uh, last. Um, this is something again this is something you might already have but if not uh, for some really neat stories and some fantastic art uh, it's only about six issues um, I believe they are reprints of Xenozoic Tales but these are cheaper uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs from Epic Comics this is the first run where they changed the title to Cadillacs and Dinosaurs um, and it's just uh, it's great Mike Schultz art stories I have the first uh, three issues and they're really good um, so I highly recommend them again more post-apocalyptic stuff so uh, there you go um, like I said you may have already collected some of these uh, titles but if not uh, these are what I recommend um, mostly indie stuff because they're cheap and you can find them uh, dollar boxes and quarter bins um, usually in most places all right so uh congrats again tim um <laughs> i slid off in the floor great uh congratulations again tim on uh, anniversary and uh all your subs um great guy on here i love talking to you uh, commenting back and forth and um the trades uh, that's, that is one of the best things about this community on here, uh, the, the people that we get to meet and make connections with, um, you know, helping one another out with, uh, books that we can't find and, uh, you know, availability differs from area to area, so there are things that, uh, certain people can find that you can't find in your area and things you can find that they can't find in their area and it all works out, it's really great, um. It's it, it's been a blast. So uh, it's been great uh, having you on here. Uh, I am glad to be part of this community with you. 
and uh, everybody go check out his channel if you haven't there will be a link below and I'll try to leave a link to Howler Mouse's video so you can see the response for uh, why Batman needs a Robin um, so thanks everybody for watching uh, check out Tim's channel if you already subscribed do a video for his contest uh, and we'll catch you next time later y'all keep reading those books